What's going on? Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back. More tech, more reviews, and right here in hand, we got the Natural Titanium iPhone 15 Pro Max. And over here, we got a case from Andar. This is the Aspen, and it's technically red. So let's go. All right, so um, first things first, big shout out to Technically T. No, he did not send me this casing. I purchased this directly from Andar myself, and I think they're sold out. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm gonna drop a link below so you can go by and check it out. This is the Technically Red Aspen case. So Aspen case has been around for a few years now. It typically comes in just a few colors, but now we got this one technically red so first off this is a leather case let's do that smell test <sighs> it smells like money that is that <laughs> that's leather so mag safe you got protective camera lens right there you got tactile buttons you get the andar logo right there on the siding you do get a microfiber lining in here with the magnet in the back and our logo once again. Uh, let's go ahead and slap it on and see what we think about it. Now, if you like this uh, wallpaper, if you like Gundam, I'm gonna drop a link below so you can check this out. I picked this up from Takara Model Studio. I think that's, that's the name of it. Either way, it'll be a link down below. Tons of Gundam HD wallpapers for your iPad, your iPhone, your computer, things of that nature. Uh, but back to the casing itself. Feels really good in the hand. Not slippery, not slick. First off, um, I did not do a weight on this case. But like I said, it's not bulky at all. And if you know anything about like leather casings, these leather cases, they age pretty well. They're real leather. So 1.3 ounces. No, no issue i didn't have any worries that it would be too heavy but you know still want to get that weight in fits very snug once again you get a protective lip around those lenses they disappear if you flip it over and i got my wallpapers all jacked up now <laughs> but if you flip it over notice you do get a slight raised edge not a whole lot now they're like it's just enough to come up off of there if you drop it, all case, all the time. I like the red color. Buttons, nice and tactile. No problems there. The only issue is it's a little tough getting that thumb down in that hole. See, and I'm like holding down. So it's not really as open as I would like it to be. Or maybe just put a button there a lot of companies are putting buttons right here so you just kind of press on that button but you kind of got to feel your way and stick your thumb yeah it's a little awkward so andar if you're listening put a button right here as well it wouldn't hurt that's like the only issue that i may have with the casing um mag safe no worries didn't i didn't have any like doubts that it would and usb type c cables plug right in so there is pretty much no issue with this casing like i said the only thing i would like to see is probably a button right here so and our when you do the average orange leather case hint hint we can put a button right here <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, no. Big shout out to uh, Technically T. He got his name all over this one. I like it a lot. Um, everything looks good, feels good in the hands, and it is mag safe. And we love that. Mag safe and leather. Can't beat it. No leather cases from Apple this year. So this is going to be your uh, one of your best bets. I do have a few leather casings, so we are going to be talking about them. Very lightweight, nice tactile buttons. Camera protection is great. Screen protection is there. It's minimal, but it's there. Like I said, and the only thing I would, would really do is or like to see 
is a button here because it's kind of hard to press on that. Other than that, it's a solid case. So I'll drop a link below so you can check this out for yourself. Until next time, average take out. Peace.